Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelvin here. So recently, with all the hype around cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, there's actually one crypto that's quietly gaining traction, and that is Solana. So much so that Solana recently overtook Cardano to reach the top 5th place in terms of market cap. And if you thought that Bitcoin has been going to the moon, think again, because if you check the charts, it's actually Solana that's been going to the moon making other cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano looking almost like a flat line. And as a random guy who likes to learn about investing, I decided to go down the rabbit hole and check out what's going on. Do you know how sometimes when you pass by a room, you think that there's nothing going on because it's super quiet? But when you open the door, there's loud music and a whole bunch of people are dancing in it. Yes, that's Solana right now. So in this video, I want to explain what's happening in Solana, why is it gaining so much popularity recently, how is it better than other cryptos, and what are the risks of investing in Solana? But before I start, I would greatly appreciate it if you can help to tap the like button because it will help out with the channel. In return, I will show you some cute rabbits. Alright, let's start right now. Just a quick disclaimer, the only reason I'm making this video is for educational purposes only yeah. I'm not trying to promote or shield Solana. It's like how some guys like to check out girls, some girls like to check out handbags, and for me, I like to check out cryptos because I find crypto tech very fascinating. Also, full disclosure, I do not own Solana in my portfolio yet, so I just want to get this out of the way. Okay, with that being said, let's continue on. Fun fact, on and off, there will be people telling me about Solana even as early as May, and I came across YouTubers talking about it, but I never did manage to look at it until now, after it shot up like 10,000 over percent in this year. Anyway, better late than never. Back to Solana. Okay, to understand Solana, you need to understand that in the crypto world, you have something called the blockchain trilemma. In this trilemma, there's security, scalability, and decentralization. And you can only choose two out of three. For example, like Bitcoin, they chose decentralization, security, and they gave up on scalability. That's why right now you have to wait up to 60 minutes for the transaction to be confirmed. But if you want it to be more scalable, you will need to sacrifice decentralization, meaning there are lesser validators so that the network can be faster. Then how? So, this is where Solana comes in. It claims to have solved the trilemma problem. Solana actually has 8 innovations that make all of this possible. But I won't talk about all of them, otherwise this video will be longer than Avengers Endgame. I will focus on proof of history. So, you have heard of proof of work, used by Bitcoin where you solve complex math problems to validate transactions. Then, you have proof of stake, used by Cardano where you pledge your cryptos to have the right to validate transactions. But then, what is proof of history? Can it one nah? Basically, proof of history uses proof of stake, but improves on it. Think of it like upgrading from this Final Fantasy 7 to this Final Fantasy 7. Something like that. Let me try to explain proof of history as simple as I can. So, you know when your parents cane you, the cane goes from outwards to downwards. Then, you go to your room to cry. If I take photos of the entire event and show you, you will know how to put all the images in order again. This is the same for Solana. But instead of image, they use timestamp so they know which event comes first and which comes next. With this, validators can create the next block without having to wait for other nodes because whenever you receive the events, you will instantly know the order of the events. So that's the simple explanation for proof of history. If you don't understand what I just said, never mind. All you need to know is that proof of history makes Solana super duper fast. How fast? Solana can process about 50,000 transactions per second and blocks can be confirmed every 400 milliseconds. You can actually see it happening in real time here. When you compare Solana speed to the Binance Smart Chain, which is only 100 transactions per second or Ethereum transactions per second, you will see how big the difference is. However, it's not even Solana's final form yet because its scalability is limited to the hardware. If you check the system requirements, you need a god like 128GB to become a validator. According to Moore's law, processing speed will double every 2 years. This means that Solana's processing speed will just keep improving as the hardware improves. For example, if validators can run on a 1 Gbps bandwidth, Solana can achieve 710,000 transactions per second. Other than that, Solana has a very very low transaction fee of 0.00025, making it super duper cheap compared to other cryptos. For example, Ethereum's fee right now is about $5, about the same price as a Chai Fan with Fisha. Oh yeah, did I mention that Solana supports smart contracts? Meaning, you can use it to program and make decentralized applications. If we look at the existing stuff that we know, Nasdaq has 500,000 transactions per second, Google serves about 344,000 ads per second, 
Visa has about 65,000 transactions per second. This means that one day, it is possible to move high-speed stuff like payments and the stock exchange onto Solana. So, does it mean that Solana will go from the moon to Mars? No lah, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Solana is the new challenger to Ethereum. Some people even went as far as to call Solana the Ethereum killer. And like I said earlier, a lot of exciting stuff are happening in Solana. In August 2020, FTS launched Serum, a decentralized exchange. This is actually big news because FTS is one of the top crypto exchanges out there. And it chose Solana out of all the other cryptos. Then, one month later, Tether announced that it's going to bring USDT into Solana. Again, this is big news because USDT is the largest stablecoin out there. Then, Circle announced that it will bring USDC into Solana. Then, Visa announced that it will be supporting USDC payments. There's a lot more projects happening in Solana, like the NFT platform Metaplex, music streaming platform Audius, smart contract platform Chainlink. If you don't know what are those, never mind, you don't have to know. All you need to know is that in just a few short years, there are already 350 projects being built on Solana. When you look at the total value locked in Ethereum, it's actually very high, while Solana is still very little. And if Solana is better than Ethereum in terms of speed and fees, it is not hard to imagine Solana catching up to Ethereum. Imagine only, uh, I'm not saying that it will happen. Uh. So that was a lot of Angad bolas about Solana. Maybe you'll be like, shut up and take my money. But hold up, before you go and yolo your money into Solana, let's talk about the risk first. First, Ethereum 2.0. One of the main reasons people prefer Solana over Ethereum is because Ethereum is slow and expensive to use due to its proof-of-work model. But Ethereum is planning to migrate to proof-of-stake model. If they manage to pull it off, it will reduce the energy used up to 99.95%. But more importantly, Ethereum will be faster and the fees will be cheaper. If it really happens, probably Ethereum will be able to remain as a top platform to develop DeFi projects. So far, Ethereum 2.0 is planned to be released on June 2022. However, as a programmer who has worked in the industry for 10 years, I can tell you this, deadlines can be shifted. Regardless, we all still have to wait and see what's the effect of Ethereum 2.0 on Solana. Second, Solana getting hacked. So, on September 14, the Solana network had an outage for 17 hours. And the reason for this is denial of service attack. If you don't know what's that, let me show you. Not too long ago, when Singapore reopened their borders, Singaporeans be like, let's go and buy plane tickets ah! Everyone rushed to Singapore Airlines website to try and buy plane tickets. As a result, the website crashed. Ah, that's denial of service attack. You guys just DOS attack your own SIA website ah. Basically, DOS attack just means that you send so much traffic to a website or network until it cannot handle the load and it crashed. The reason Solana had an outage was because of its own strength. It is cheap and fast. As a result, the attackers were able to spam a lot of data to crash Solana. Developers had to rush to come up with a fix and coordinated to restart the network. Luckily, nothing was stolen. All this goes to show us that Solana is still very new. And like all new things, it is still not perfect. There may be more vulnerabilities that are not discovered yet, but I'm quite sure that it will improve over time. Third, centralization. Right now, people feel that Solana is not that decentralized yet. According to Masari, about 48% of Solana are owned by Solana team and investors, and one third has been allocated to ecosystem development, leaving only a small part of Solana to be sold to the public. But there's something called Nakamoto Coefficient, where it tries to measure how decentralized a network is. For example, Bitcoin scored around 3, Ethereum scored 5, while Solana scored around 19. Or in other words, you will need 19 validators to control more than 33% of total stake and hack the network. Solana actually has a higher core efficient than Bitcoin and Ethereum. And this means that Solana is not as decentralized as you might think. So those were the risks of investing in Solana. Will Solana really take off and be the Ethereum killer one day? I don't know. All I can say is that Solana does look promising with all its projects and potential. My advice is if you really want to invest in Solana, don't just go and YOLO your entire life savings into it because anything can happen in the crypto world. I wouldn't be surprised if Ethereum just turn around and be the Solana killer. So as usual, just invest what you can afford to lose. Anyway, that was a quick review on Solana. But what do you think? Do you think Solana will be the top crypto one day? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.